hey guys this is Hetu and welcome uh, welcome back to Util QL apps so guys uh, I have uh, received a lot of requests uh, to do some uh, videos on Panda series right I have already covered few of the scenarios that is uh, widely used in ETL testing however uh, I think that I will be doing few I mean a series of videos wherein we will actually take all this in a question and answer format right and then that will be really helpful for you to understand like when interviewer basically ask you those kind of situation then it will actually uh, you know immediately will be able to recall right so that way it is also a good idea to learn right while question and then uh, how to you know respond to that question right so I thought that we will do some videos but today I have come up with one of the scenarios wherein you know uh, we have the source data let's say source system uh, uh, let's be a very simple thing we have an employee.csv file as a source system and then uh, while processing and after ETL transformation it's actually getting loaded into target database right for the simplicity I have I am expecting you know um, only uh, the you know so so employee.csv which is the source table uh, source basically source system which is having some duplicates here for example you see this uh, employee number five is also duplicate and then three is also one is also duplicate so what I'm expecting is I want actually distinct value to be loaded in the target table right and then this is the scenario that I actually want to verify yeah whether this is happening or not so what we will do is we will try to uh, since this source is a CSV file or file system we can't actually run any sort of query so we will use the Python pandas here pandas library to validate whether we have any duplicate or not if we have any duplicate then we would like to write those duplicates in a separate file and as a you know as a process and then we will actually go and check whether we have any uh, duplicates or not right because doing it on the terminal it will be very difficult especially when you have the millions of record it's not possible so what we will do is all the duplicates we will actually write into a separate output file and then later we actually go to that file and open the file and check whether you know how many are duplicates right so that will actually tell you okay these are the duplicates and and at the same time then I will actually go to the target and in target also I will verify whether those duplicates are coming in target or not ideal situation is we should not expect any duplicate in the target okay so this is the scenario hope you are able to understand guys so let's quickly go and then try to you know uh, run uh, try to see how we can actually code this part right so I have opened the Jupyter Panda here right now I have run few things here but what I will do is I will just open uh, I'll just remove everything here so that I can actually cover it from the okay okay guys so let's do one thing let me just run it all right okay fine so um, I don't know why this is coming this should also go all right good very nice so this is Jupyter note right and uh, I have a employee file that I can show you here guys okay so this is employee file and in this employee file I have three columns and this is CSV file guys okay so this is CSV file and we have employee number employee name and department name there are three columns and we are expect we are having some duplicates like employee number one is having two instances and then three and then five right so we will actually see that whether we are able to find out all the duplicates in the source or not first of all right and then uh, we will actually validate the target as well okay so let's go to Jupyter note and then see how we can verify right so now um, what I will do is we have this file right mm, here we have file what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, write a simple pandas commands right which will actually help me read that particular file and now I'm in that particular same folder where my file is guys okay so let me actually yeah this is fine I guess okay so let me actually um, 
use that pandas library so first line always I have to write import pandas as PD okay because I am actually going to use PD as uh, you know handle to use the pandas library that's why I am going to write this one as a first line now I will say shift enter I'll go to the next line okay here what I'm going to do I'm going to actually write into a data frame data frame is basically where I'm actually going to I'm going to um, a store right I'll show you how it works right so I'll say df equal to you can give any name actually guys here okay because this is just a handle name where actually in that data frame the entire data of this particular excel will be populated so what I will do is pd dot read underscore csv so this is kind of a uh, this is the method right reading method for the uh, for that particular file so I will just give the employee and the file name I'll just say employees not employee employee dot csv okay and then guys I also maybe I also will go and tell what kind of file so I'll say separator equal to csv is comma separated file that's why I said comma right now I'll go to the next line okay I come here now if I say df or if I say print df same thing guys then let's try to see you see that we got some data already because this is the data in the file you see same data is there in the file now I am actually able to put everything into this particular data frame right data frame is nothing but which holds it's it's a kind of a variable right which actually holds the data entire data of this particular excel sheet or csv file in fact right now what we will do is we actually want to check whether we have duplicates or not so I just don't want to display it maybe I can go to the next line probably so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a method or the function which will actually help identify in this particular data frame any duplicates okay so we, we know that right so one is duplicate see one Adam IT one Adam IT so one is there three is also there and five is also duplicate so what I'm going to say is df dot duplicated so this is a function guys okay and this particular function will actually show me true or false line wise so let's try to hit shift and enter then I'm here and I can clearly see it here that uh, the line number two is true which means duplicated or not so line number two is obviously duplicated to uh, zero like it starts from zero index guys right so one two this is duplicated false false and which is that the line number five basically is also true line number five is this one Christopher right so three Christopher Finan this is also uh, duplicated but guys this doesn't uh, help me anyways right because I want the whole record to uh, check it right so in that case what I'm going to do is I'm actually put this entire uh, function into a DF which is basically data frame and then if I say data frame and this will actually give me the true right so when I say DF and in this square bracket if I put the true then what will happen all the uh, you know uh, duplicates I in fact this one so line number one zero or zero right line number two will be displayed and here line number five will be displayed and here seven or eight line number eight will be displayed like that right let's try to see how it works okay you see that's what I was telling right so now you see uh, one this one actually right so one is there because this is duplicate now four right so this is also duplicate you see here duplicate of this line and then we have also seven right so seven is also duplicate guys right because you see five man hr is there just before that in the six index right so this is how actually you can get this uh, duplicate records yeah so this is the duplicate record but now the challenge is here we are actually able to see it three five records are there three records but in fact in reality or in the real time 
what happens we have the millions of records when you actually perform the testing right so what we do is we actually rather than uh, displaying it here we will write into some file okay so what we will do is let's uh, do one thing uh, let me write in a file I'll say file name is tops okay you can give any name guys it's just uh, you know uh, the file name where you are actually going to store right uh, one second give me a second guys right so what I'm going to do is uh, rather than this I will actually put entire thing here okay because what what is happening here is I am actually storing all this this is now again data frame right so this is a data frame now I am actually putting everything in this data frame so dupes is a new data frame for me which will store this particular data right and then I will just say go now everything if I say dupes actually it will display you all those right now dupes is a new data frame where I have this record but I want to write into some file this particular data into some file so later I can actually go and check it so what I can do is I can say dupes dot to CSV to CSV and then I will just say a file name right so duplicated file and duplicated data huh? this is something like that and then I say CSV right I say just CSV right I think this is good enough now if I just say shift enter done right now I want to do one thing I want to go and check whether we really have this duplicated data uh, so I have a file here okay now see this is the location basically right that's where now you see the duplicated data file is just created right 11 15 right so now if I open it I should be actually able to see only those records three records you see this is exactly those three records which are actually duplicated so you see how we are actually able to use this particular panda uh, to identify the duplicate record in a file and then able to write those duplicate into separate file that we actually we can use it for our analysis purpose right uh, wherein we have the huge amount of data right so this is what the use of this right so these are very simple commands guys now what we will do is we will try to learn this kind of things and later maybe uh, after that we will put everything down into a single python file and we will you know use it as a single automation code and we will run it and we can validate multiple things right for example this duplicate thing and then you can also do some more checks basically so we will learn one by one and then at the end we will try to combine everything and make a single script that can be used as a automation script in your project right so I hope that this really video really makes sense now what I want to do is I want to quickly show you so let's say this is my source and I identified there are three records which are duplicate but in target how do I verify so I have already done enough videos on on SQL and how you can actually verify it but let me actually go and show you right so the same data I have actually tried to insert into database directly okay we are not using any ETL guys here but the thing is I just wanted to show you here let's say how do I verify whether my target is having so this is target employee table it is actually loading everything into employee now I see that there are some duplicate but in real time you will not be able to see all these kind of things right because uh, data is huge you don't know where is the duplicate right in that case I have to write a single query and see if we have duplicate or not I will say employee number employee number employee name dpt name right from employees from employee okay group by right I will actually need to take all these three columns because we actually we are going to group based on all the columns because I want to check whether we have any duplicate right across the column like across the record right table 
uh, all the column all the columns then I have to use so and then I have to use having clause just to filter if we have any count which is greater than one let's try to run it oh what's happening guys having count group by this uh, way it's happening okay let's see I don't know what's happening now hmm very nice okay so we got this right so one Adam three Christopher five Mang. so what we get it basically the duplicate is actually persisting in my target as well which means my ETL is not actually able to filter somewhere right so this is the thing that we actually check it when we have duplicate in the source we want to make sure whether there is no duplicate in the target right so in this case this is a bug yeah so this is how actually we can check it guys okay uh, and if I can show you this is exactly the same record that uh, that we actually able to find in our target using the pandas right so duplicated data if I can show you where is that okay so one Adam IT three Christopher finance five Mayank HR correct exactly this is the same right yes so hope you got it right and uh, so this is the you know the one thing that how we can actually check so important thing in this uh, uh, particular session is you actually able to find out given a huge amount of data you will be always able to find out whether there is a duplicate or not right uh, and across the record right and uh, then you identify and write back into a particular output file where you can actually go and check your automation can script can run and then whenever you actually perform uh, your checks uh, you want to verify the results you can always go and open that particular folder or the file and validate it okay all right guys so this is all for this video and I ho really hope that it is going to help you and uh, yes uh, as I said right let's do a series in Python pandas okay and I believe that this is very good skill that if you can actually add into your resume and you can showcase it in your interview I think it, it's very impressive right so I thought that this will be very easy as well right I mean you, you see that there are very less commands that you can actually use it and as we go along we, you will be able to actually find uh, you know a lot of repetition in the in the pandas commands as well right and uh, I have already done some videos on the channel so you go and watch I think I have already done previously those will be really helpful and if you face any issue with the pandas installation etc you actually go and refer the videos I think I have done enough videos but this uh, series will be more of you know question and answer kind of series where we will uh, try to learn you know different different validation in ETL testing using Python Panda all right thanks guys then uh, I really hope that this is helpful and uh, I I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy learning. God bless you. Bye.